you are not too old to get in the best shape and the highest energy levels of your life. And it might sound a little bit absurd, but if you are in your mid 40s or mid 50s, you are in the best time to change your health and still have the momentum, still have the motivation to get started and to keep it going and to sustain it for the rest of your decades, right? You can have so many beautiful years and decades ahead of you. And how do I have the audacity to say this as a 22 year old? Well, most of the clients I'm working with are between the ages of 35 to 55. So this is exactly the age where you as a man, you have already done your part or at least majority of your part in your career. You're already successful with your career or with your business, right? And you are looking for pursuing something new, something else, and you might have put your health on the back burner or simply you just find more joy at this point in pursuing physical excellence, right? Because this gives you a challenge. Um, and I, I think it's a general truth and a philosophical truth for life is that men cannot function without a purpose right? Something to chase, something to strive for. And uh, many of you say that, okay, you want more money, you want more wealth, you want more fame, but once money is not interesting anymore because you got so much of it, right? Once you've been so successful in something that basically you are the so-called celebrity in your industry, right? Or within your company, you're the best salesman, you have done your part, you are in a position of leadership, right? There is always, of course, something more to chase, but if you get into the top 0.1 percentage in anything, it's not just, it's just not that fun anymore, right? So you pursue something new. And here it goes with your health, for example, with your physical excellence, with building a respectable physique for yourself, right? And I'm not talking about these bodybuilder types, right? It's just a lean, slim and athletic physique which shows your confidence and your energy to the world and the ones surrounding you. So this is why it gets important for these people that I'm working with. And of course that building your career, building your business is very stressful. And if you have already spent decades building that, of course your health will be a little bit put on the back burner, right? Because if you haven't been conscious about your health since day one of starting your business or since day one of starting in a high performing job, right? Then you fall off track and this is gonna get worse and worse and worse. And if you have at least a decade of experience with practicing the bad habits, right? The, the less good, the worse habits, then of course you shouldn't be surprised that you are not looking, not feeling, and not performing like the way you want. So, how do you fix that? First of all, deleting all the excuses from your head that you're too old, right? Uh, what do you mean by too old, right? So most of these men think and they are too old because their metabolism doesn't work like it used to anymore. Of course it doesn't work like that because you ate like crap when you were 25 years old, you were in college, you were playing football, right? And you were slim. Of course, your metabolism was naturally faster and of course, next to that, you just, you've just been active. Training has been a consistent part of your life, but now it is not anymore and you have stacked up so many bad habits with your nutrition that your metabolism got slow. Not because of your genetics, not because of your age, but generally because of your habits. And another thing that you often say that, okay, my hormones, my testosterone levels are not like that anymore, and you consider getting on TRT. Well, testosterone levels can be improved naturally as well. Another excuse is often, okay, but my joints, but my injuries, there are several different ways of keeping your training safe. And for example, the first one is always having a second extra pair of eyes to look at your movements and to supervise your form that you're actually doing them right. Because as long as you're doing them right, as long as you are practicing some mobility on the side, you will be fine. And you don't have to worry about joint injuries. And you know, physical training, resistance training doesn't only mean like benching, squatting, overhead pressing, deadlifting, and so on and so on. You don't need to do these at all. And I'm saying this with a powerlifting background. You don't need to do these at all to build a respectable physique, to get in a slim shape, and to enjoy your life. These are absolutely unnecessary, right? And another reason why you say that you are too old is that you don't have time for it, right? Well, 
you have time for what you prioritize and to be honest you don't need two to three hours more than two to three hours per week just to get in the shape that you want to be to have a flat belly to have um, six-pack abs over there to have some waves popping here and there you have a generally lean and athletic physique you don't need to spend your life in the gym you don't need to be a gym bro you don't need to eat chicken rice and broccoli and so on and so on and so on so what is the excuse after all so these are the most common ones right that your metabolism is not like that you're getting gold you just don't have it don't feel the mojo your hormones are a little bit messed up and your joints are hurting right and for a lot of men it turns into a coping mechanism that i used to bench 300 pounds back in high school but it's not high school anymore right or you just simply say that okay i gave up on this and it's not important to me anymore meanwhile it is important right because you want to be present for your kids for your grandkids you want to take your granddaughter to the zoo if she says uh, you want to go with your kids hiking, whitewater rafting, kayaking, canoeing, going on adventures, right? You want to do all the things that you would be able to do right now if your body weight and body composition allowed that and if you wouldn't run out of breath after five minutes of rowing, right? So this is very important that you are aware of these facts that, okay, your health might not be in the position where you want it to be right now but it can definitely be all your bad habits can definitely be reversed so that's the beautiful thing about the whole way of how your health and your body works is that six years of bad habits and wrongdoings can be undone and reversed within six months with the right systems in place right so uh, let's go through how can you and what can you do against it and if you don't have, if you lack the belief in yourself, how can you turn this around and kind of like reverse engineer the process as a 40, 50 or even 60 year old man of getting there, right? So your first doubt is always that you can't do this because of your metabolism and your body composition just can't change as efficiently as for a younger person. Well, there are countless of studies and if you want, I can link it in the description that have shown that even men above the age of 70 are able to change their body composition. What that means is that they are able to lose body fat and gain lean muscle mass just by following a higher protein diet that we've been following before and practicing resistance training two to four times per week so resistance training doesn't necessarily have to mean something in the gym it can be a home workout it can be body weight training calisthenics it could be crossfit it could be some kind of weight lifting it could be just a couple of dumbbell exercises right so whatever provides some resistance for your muscles right so your muscles have to resist against a certain type of force right and as a result of that they are triggered to grow to develop so that would be uh, number one thing that it is scientifically proven but if you don't believe the science let me uh, show you some empirical evidence so for example here's my 45 right now let me show you 46 year old client Devin hopefully his transformation is well visible in this picture so from this we got him to this within six months watch him well so from like 22 percent ish body fat to less than nine percent so absolutely peeled to the bone but still energetic still loaded still feeling amazing and we did that in less than two to three hours per week we never restricted his diet he never had to count calories he still enjoyed ice cream and cookie dough and he spent a lot of quality time with his wife and with his kids and he had a lot on his shoulders so he has two businesses and a full-time job so if he could pull that off why couldn't you right so time is not the problem um, the ability to gain lean muscle mass and to drop body fat is not the problem Devin could do that or let me show you something someone else uh, VJ 43 years old based in Dubai CFO angel investor he has two kids and a family also like older parents to to take care of living with them so a lot of lot of different responsibilities <clears throat> and still just in two months hopefully that's visible he lost some body weight 
meanwhile building lean muscle mass and it's just the first eight weeks of his progress so you've seen nothing yet okay there's just a few examples of my clients who are really crushing it above the age of 40 or even above the age of 50. so um, what's the takeaway from this that okay you are not just scientifically but actually empirically able to change your body composition at that age you can do that in a relatively fast time frame so in less than six months you can change your entire body chemistry and you can do that without too much or too long time investment so two to three hours per week is enough and you can do that without restricting your diet so just like Devin did got absolutely ribbed while still eating ice cream enjoying cookie dough and you know eating his favorite foods in general not even tracking calories we only track protein and their sleep completely automated uh, each of my clients get a device called the ordering from me it's just a little easter egg that accurately measures their sleep so we are more time efficient in terms of measuring the progress but something is missing right so how did these guys so how actually all of these guys or let me show you just some of them so let me pull it up oh there's a lot yeah i just love looking at my client results you know guys they, I, I genuinely really like these people like it's so fun to work with them um let me show you a big compilation of all of them but i just can't seem to find it anyway we haven't talked about metabolism yet but the picture I wanted to show you guys exactly signals that you can improve your metabolism I don't know how much visibility is because there's a lot of clients and data on this picture let me close it up but for example here is Silas from skinny fat to jack the same from Zhao skinny fat to jagged right skinny fat is when you have thin arms but big belly right or Benjamin absolutely fat to jacked hunter skinny fat to jacked right so so many here's Paul Ooh, everyone so many many transformations proving that you can actually change your metabolism as well no matter how old or how young you are right so it's all about habits so Anyone at any age can just simply drink more water. Anyone at any age can simply eat more protein or eat more hot spicy food, which gets that capsaicin going, which helps you burn more calories per hour, right? You can always walk a little bit more, six to eight K steps a day, or even, even a little bit more, because once you have the fundamentals in place, you can easily just increase the volume of the activities that help you lose fat, right? At any age, you can just set reminders for yourself for fluid consumption. For, at any age, you can set reminders for yourself to drink a cup of green tea every one or two hours before 3 to 4 p.m., right? So you can always take up those habits which ultimately will help you boost your metabolism. So if you already have these systems in place, it doesn't matter how old you are. But what about hormones? What about testosterone? Is it something that you're doomed once it's low? No, you can naturally increase it. So let's say, what's stopping you from taking zinc supplement? That's, that's a natural, natural mineral. Or what's stopping you from eating oysters or steaks, right? If you have already crossed it in your career, that's not gonna be like a, a big purchase for you. Invest into steaks, invest into oysters, invest into natural sources of zinc, copper, magnesium. This is what you need, right? You can even try a couple of herbs like Tonkat Ali, Ashwagandha. I think they are not as effective as the minerals like zinc, but they are effective. They definitely are effective. But number one is always have a lifestyle which supports high testosterone production. So train intense. Start your week with a leg day because there are more androgen receptors which will trigger your testicles to produce more of the stuff, right? It's very, very simple. And you want to remember that even if right now you might be overweight, you might be like a, a bigger body person, right? And your testosterone levels might be only competing with a six-year-old girl at this point. You can definitely 
double or even triple it with natural methods. You don't have to go right now to the testosterone clinic, to the male health clinic to, to get a subscription for TRT. No, you don't have to because you can absolutely increase your natural production in a way that you just make a few tweaks to your lifestyle. And one of them, one of these most important changes is sleep. So don't complain about your hormones and your testosterone and don't blame it on your age if you haven't tried having a stable pre-bed routine yet or going to bed and waking up within the same 30 minute interval every single day or trying to get just like 20 minutes of sunlight before 10 a.m. every day. So everything which helps you reset your natural sleep-wake cycle, your so-called circadian rhythm right or if you haven't tried a couple of supplementations yet or if you haven't cooled down your room or sleep in a pitch black darkness right uh, if you don't have a calm and tranquil noise environment so either complete silence or some white noise in the background rainfall whatever if you haven't tried all the weapons all the different weapons in your arsenal to, to beat sleeplessness or to beat your low testosterone production, then uh, don't say that it is because your age. I can understand that, of course, this is also a scientific fact that above the age of 45, your sleep hormone, your melatonin production drops significantly every single year, but you can increase your melatonin production naturally so dramatically that you won't notice anything from that because let's say you have 30 person you're producing 30 percent more melatonin a one percent loss per year won't be that much noticeable for you because you will be still better off than your your peers your counterparts of the same age right so that's the most amazing power of sleep optimization that once you have these systems in place your pre-bed routine some mobility practice in the evening so whatever helps you to eliminate awakenings fragmentation, pain, discomfort, or any kind of unnecessary movements, restlessness, sleep apnea. So whatever helps you with that will help you with your melatonin and your testosterone levels, right? So you have to try these. And this may vary from person to person, and I'm not trying to sound like Dr. Huberman here, so uh, I don't wanna say that it's that much variable that Okay, some people can just sleep for four months like polar bears and then spend the rest of the year awake. Of course, I'm joking here, but I don't want to be that neurotic about it. I just want to say that generally, if you align your sleep-wake cycle with your natural sleep-wake cycle, so when the sun comes up and goes down and so on and so on, or if you just can replicate something close to that, not exactly like that because I know some of your schedules are not allowing this, but if you can just replicate something close to that, you will be doing amazing. And if you happen to measure it, because what gets measured gets improved and gets managed. So if you happen to measure it with an aura ring or a hoop band, it will be much easier to see and get daily feedback on, okay, what you did right, what you did wrong, and what metrics of your sleep needs to be improved so that you can feel more energetic uh, during the day. You will feel like working out. You will not feel like snacking. You will less likely to be craving and so on and so on. So it's very important that you won't feel old again. You will feel younger. So with higher testosterone levels, better sleep, a high protein diet, an optimized metabolism, sustainable nut nutritional principles instead of dieting or instead of following fat diet. So if you have all of these systems in place, you can be 25 years old at 45. What I mean by that is that your biological age can definitely decrease. Meanwhile, your mood, your energy levels and your overall body composition increases. So your overall life quality increases. So if you happen to be, um, as you say, old, I don't think you're old at 45 or even 50. You still have like three or four very good decades ahead of you if you fix your health today, but you can't delay it anymore because if you have a history of, let's say, diabetes or heart attack or any kind of diseases in your family, just look at your family tree, right? Remember what kind of diseases your ancestors had because you are very likely to get them too, right? And you want to avoid that. 
we know that when your time comes, your time comes. Your goal is just to delay that time when you will meet the Grim Reaper and will eventually leave this world behind. So delay that day and year and moment as much as you can and try to stay on this earth with a high quality lifestyle. So the people who you spend time with, they will feel good in your company and instead of a burden, you would be a help for them. Because ultimately for us men, it's not work, money or not even purpose that drives us forward. It's just the notion of being useful. The feeling of being useful, of being needed. And if from the moment you feel like you're not needed anymore, you already died as a man. And I don't want any of you to feel that. And I kind of remember at this point, some of my relatives who were, of course, much older than me, they are not living anymore, but they died exactly the same way. They got lazy at some point, they got complacent, they lost their purpose, they, they didn't feel like they are needed anymore. And they just simply deteriorated over years and decades to, to that level where they couldn't sustain themselves, for first their brain and then their bodies anymore. So it's very important to maintain yourself because you don't want to be a run-down old car. You, you want to be a well-maintained old-timer, right? An old Pontiac, Chevrolet, Ferrari, right? You want to be that supercar, right? That supercar from the 50s, the 60s, which can still go fast, which still has the engine working, which still looks good from the outside and functions amazing from the inside. You want to be that type of man, right? So then you better take action today. The best day to start, as I mentioned, was yesterday, but the second best is today, right here, right now. And as a reminder, let me show you again. So here is Weiji after eight weeks. And here we go with, where did I put him? <laughs> okay, anyway, here's, here's Hayden, he's jacked as hell. But, oh my God, I need to really organize my client's folder. But, where did I put Devin? Devin, where are you? Devin, you're such a legend. Yeah, here's Devin. So, remember Devin? Right now he is 46 years old. And I'm pretty sure if he stays on his path, and I know he will because the systems we built for him were sustainable and they are sustainable for a lifetime. But if he stays on this path, he will look like this or even better at the age of 76. It's not just scientifically proven, this is empirically proven. So if you got motivated, if you want to be that ripped and lean grandpa who is still slam dunking on the basketball course and all the local grandmas are just watching, being jealous of your wife, Right? If you still want to play with your grandkids at the pool, if you still want to be a help for your family and not a burden, then follow these habits and systems outlined in this video. Join our free community where I share daily tips on how to implement these into your lifestyle. And if you feel like this is a little bit overwhelming or it would be great to follow but don't know exactly how or how it would be customized to your lifestyle, you need, to, you need it to be more tailored tailored but you don't really know like how to actually copy paste and edit it into your everyday life and the flow of events that are surrounding you then feel free to go to the description book a free call with us click on the link and we will come up with an entire game plan for you and see how we could help you sustainably lose the extra unwanted pounds that you have optimize your sleep double your energy levels and ultimately get you below 15% body fat so you can sustainably stay lean without having to say no to your favorite foods or without having to count calories or spend long hours in the gym because we don't want to be gym rats. We want to be healthy, vital, energetic and sexually active 70 year olds. So let's go for that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.